Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. So check this out. I've got some beautiful cucumber starts here that I started in these Jiffy seed pods. You can see we got beautiful root formation. And I'm getting ready to plant these out directly in the garden with no potting up. So I've decided to plant out my cukes right here atop my Hugel Culture raised bed garden. I've got a trellis made out of cattle panel that goes all the way over the top. Plenty of room for those cucumbers to run. And by growing them up vertically, I can squeeze in more plants. Now the old school way of planting your cukes is on mounds or hills, where you plant several seeds and thin out to two or three plants per hill. When you grow vertically, like what I'm doing here, you can squeeze them in a little tighter. I'm gonna be planting these out 12 inches apart because the plant's gonna run up and utilize the airspace. The other benefit, as I see it, to growing cukes vertically rather than on mounds is it keeps the plants and the cucumbers off of the soil surface where insects like slugs, snails, wood lice, and earwigs can eat on your crop. Growing vertically will also help you to grow longer, straighter cucumbers. So the variety I planted out is an heirloom, meaning I can save seeds from these cukes and grow them year after year after year. And I've still got a ton of seed left in here. 200 seeds came in this pack. This is the straight eight varietal. Now to get things taken off in the right direction, I am gonna add in a few different amendments to the soil here. Now cucumbers will grow easily in many different soil types and conditions, but they do appreciate a slightly acidic soil profile because I have a neutral pH of seven here, I wanna bring it down in the range of between six, 6.9. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this soil acidifier. This is organic, and this is gonna to help to bring that pH down just a little bit. I'm also gonna add in some mycos around the root zone of these plants. Now this is gonna help me to create a very strong, vigorous root structure on my cucumber plants, making them more resilient to different weather conditions, as well as help and aid with the uptake of different nutrients. And the third thing I'm gonna add is just a little bit of organic fertilizer. I'm using a 444. You could go all the way up to 101010 would be good as well. And that's just gonna help kick things off. Lily the garden cat is joining me out in the garden today. She's sure enjoying the nice weather, that's for sure. Now one of the reasons I'm choosing to grow my cucumbers on a cattle panel is because they really do appreciate a fair to mild weather condition. It gets really hot here, so I'm gonna be able to drape over some burlap or some shade cloth over the top here to help regulate how much sun is able to come through. So the cucumbers do like full sun, but they don't like super hot extreme weather. So this panel here is gonna work out great. So you'll see as I'm working around this area, I've got lots of different varieties of plants growing here. I like to grow my crops, not just in single file lines all by themselves, but mixed in with other plants. This really helps to create a balance with beneficials to pest insects and also looks quite beautiful in my opinion. So I'm using my Hori Hori here to dig my planting spots. And after years of adding wood chips and other organic material to these mounds, the soil here has really become quite beautiful and workable. So I'm expecting some really good results with our cucumber harvest this year. Plants such as this oregano, I can cut back a little bit just to make room for the cucumbers. And I'll find some creative way to add this into my culinary. Now I'm gonna pop in two plants per hole here. That's just gonna help me to create a nice dense vining structure up this trellis and ensure that we get an abundant harvest. It could also be a good idea to plant your cukes, or any crop for that matter, in several locations throughout your garden. I found that doing so will dramatically increase your odds of overall success. It also helps you to identify certain microclimates or just conditions in your garden, shade zones and whatnot, that work the best for your crop that you're growing. These are all tree collared seed pods that are developing. We're gonna move these out of the way for now. And by the time these cukes start crawling up this trellis, I should be able to harvest some of those seed pods and make more room. And I'm just gonna sprinkle in my soil acidifier. It doesn't have to be just in the hole. I just want the whole area to come down just a little bit. And this fertilizer here, again, just a little bit to get things jump started. And then I'll come around later with some liquid fertilizer. Fish emulsion is one of my favorites, so is kelp, liquid kelp. And I'll come and continue to feed these plants as they're growing on up the trellis. 
Now this mycos, which is a mycorrhizal inoculant, you want that right on the root zone. So I'm just going to sprinkle directly in these holes and that'll work on in along with the fertilizers. And in less than a minute we got our nutrients and amendments right there in the soil. So I'll grab a couple of these out and those roots are just starting to poke out of most of these. This is absolutely perfect time to transplant. Now I timed my seeding of the cucumbers to match the weather. Even though we had our last frost date over a month ago, it's been getting really cold. But at this point, the soil is starting to warm up. Cucumbers want that warmer soil. 70 degrees Fahrenheit would be good. I'll work those amendments in a little bit. And plug in these crops. Now this netting that comes on these jiffy pods is biodegradable and those roots just grow right on through. So although they can take a long time to break down, what typically happens is they just surface on the soil later on and I just remove them. And because these plants are still quite small, I'm going to take one more, actually two more steps to ensure that insects and wildlife don't come and start nibbling on these and take them out before they have a chance to truly establish. And I'll share that with you in just a moment. <laughs> It is a beautiful day to be out in the garden, my friends. I hope you're having a beautiful day or you got one coming up. And if you do, I sure would hope that you're able to get some time out in the garden, planting more abundance in your life. The few minutes that you spend now will create a tremendous amount of happiness and self-sufficiency in just a short amount of time. Let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite variety of cucumber to grow? Cucumbers are most definitely one of my favorite garden crops. I love to juice, especially in the summer. Make fresh homemade juices. And the cucumber, they're like little water caches, you know? Mostly water, just tremendous amount of water in these fruits. So you take yourself a cucumber or two and mix it with some greens, little ginger, maybe some hot pepper, lemon, and you'll be kicking butt in life. Once again, these only took about two and a half weeks to get to this size. They grew up rather quick, so if you haven't yet got your cucumbers going and your weather's starting to warm up, now's a wonderful time. I love being able to forego potting up. Just that extra step can take quite a bit of time, especially when you've got a lot of different plants going, as well as materials like potting mix and such. So going directly in the garden, this is not only going to save me some time and money, but once these roots start running, I'm going to be able to avoid a double transplant shock from the first transplant and then the second into the garden. And that's usually going to result into your first harvest coming quicker. My biggest concern with this is always the birds and for me, the pill bugs or the wood lice. The birds have been rather hungry this year and that's okay. I'm willing to share with wildlife, but the pill bugs, earwigs and other insects, which in the past, sometimes they've been quite detrimental. I haven't seen very many of them this year, so I'm pretty happy about that. But even with that being said, I'm still gonna provide one last treatment here and then give these a covering. All right, so we're all planted out here. Only took a couple minutes, and I've still got some other plants that I can try in another location as well. How you doing, Lily? That means she's doing excellent, in case you weren't aware. So the next thing I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of this Sluggo Plus Granular. This is approved for organic gardening. And I like to put this down before I water to really activate this stuff. It needs to be watered in. And I'm just going to give these a sprinkle all around the crops. This is going to keep all those insects that might be crawling up to eat the leaves at night while you're sleeping at bay. The pests that eat on this will die off. But just be aware, wildlife like birds also love this stuff and it's not harmful to them at all, but you don't want them eating your product that you paid for. So that's why we're gonna do this last step, which is to add a bit of row cover. This piece here is kind of ratty. I've been using this for years, but it gets the job done. And you can easily tie that off onto your trellis or even just throw it right over your crop. It doesn't get any easier than this. And I'm telling you, this little step right here really shouldn't be overlooked. This is gonna keep those birds from eating the little tender greens. 
and in a couple more weeks I should be able to remove this without any fear of losing these small seedlings. This material here will allow the sun to shine through for photosynthesis and it allows the water to go right through as well and it's so lightweight that it will just float up along with your plants as they grow up. And just like that our cucumbers are planted just a few minutes is all it took. And just a quick reminder, check down below in the description box. I always leave links to the different products, materials, fertilizers that I use in my garden if you're interested. And so with that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you're located in the world. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon. Mm -hmm.